Yo guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the game Ballplay Cupid. The game has nothing to do with romance, Cupid was just a code name. Um, well, let's just kick off with the game itself, shall we? You can play the puzzles in random order. As you can see, it already gives my own best performances. And let's pick on the top puzzle, as that is one of the easiest to explain. <coughs> well, basically, when I start the puzzle like this, the balls will all roll and the plates change their direction. Well, let's see if I place a plate here and here. And as you can see, the ball changes its direction. And as the plate on this way would force it into a wall, the plate is ignored. Well, hearts indicate how many balls have arrived. Clubs indicate how many balls are required. Diamonds indicate how many balls are in the field. Spades indicate how many balls have been destroyed. Well, in this particular puzzle no balls can be destroyed, but there are puzzles in which it is possible. Knowing this, it will be e easy to solve this puzzle. Well, I solved the puzzle and this is comparing myself officially to other players. Of course, as this video was shot of a test version, these are all me. But when the game is actually released, you can compare yourself to all other players all over the world as these scores are kept over the internet. The challenge will be to use as little tools as possible or do it in as little time as possible and in puzzles in which balls can be destroyed but in which you excuse me don't need them all in order to solve the puzzle you can also get a leaderboard for the most balls arrived let's demonstrate another puzzle um, this one this is a so-called breakaway mission. The mission are explained here. When you hover the mouse over the mission, the game will explain it itself. Well, the object is easy. Break all the blocks. And basically, it goes a bit in the very famous Arkanoid style. But still with the same mechanics as the puzzle I demonstrated earlier. Let's get some more balls into play, shall we? Of course, a good way to go is always to think ahead.
Well, you could see I used the trash can to remove one plate. I guess that was pretty obvious. What you could also see is that there are numbers imprinted at the tools. That is the maximum that I could use in the puzzle. And I can see that I actually broke the best time. Nice to know. Um, let's see. Well, let me demonstrate this one. In this puzzle, you can see a woman. She doesn't have a name. She is just there. As soon as the balls touch her, she's dead. Then you lose the puzzle. And she has to get home. Like always, you can change the balls directions. But the number of balls stated here at the club symbol must survive. So if balls get destroyed, you can still lose the puzzle, even if the woman arrives. The woman can just be controlled with the arrow keys, the numeric keypad, or with the WASD. Well, this was very extremely easy. I know that. Of course, there are a few harder ones with this concept. Well, the last kind of puzzle I'm going to demonstrate is this one. Basically the same mechanics, but as you can see, four colors of balls, four colors of exits. The blue balls must go to the blue exit, the amber balls to the amber exit, the green balls to the green uh, exit, and of course the red balls to the red exit. Getting a ball into the wrong exit will destroy it. Of course with this type of puzzle it is very important that you're not going to act too fast. As that can cost you dearly. And voila! I did it! And basically, that is how Ballplay Cupid works. Well, as soon as the game is finished, I hope you will try it yourself. And. Uh, Find a challenge to get all the puzzles solved. And of course, to beat the best times. Well, see you later. <laughs>